Hi, and welcome back to Transformer Review Offs. It's been a while since I've done this. Today I will be taking a look at TF Prime Ratchet and TF Prime RC. Ratchet was the first one that I got, and uh, he's really impressed me. Now, of course, if you know anything about the show, immediately you'll be able to tell he doesn't exactly look like his model. Most noticeably, he's missing the, the little uh, EKG symbol on his arms. His color scheme is off a little bit, but he's a very nice and solid robot, and he comes with these awesome swords, which you can move his wrist joint while he's holding them so that he actually wields them out of the end of his arm, like in the show. That's very cool. His feet are nice and stompy. This isn't really so much a backpack as it is just he's got a large back. So, very little kibble. Nice. RC, and this, I should mention, is not the first edition RC, which is a good bit larger and transforms differently. This is the second edition RC. She looks pretty on model. When I first saw the uh, the concept art for the characters for this show, I was like, I have got to get myself an RC, so I ended up doing that eventually. She has a ton of kibble, though. She's got like half a motorcycle hanging off her back. Now, granted, it looks like she's got wings, which is very cool, but that's, that is sort of ridiculous. And she comes with this. You remember that episode in the show? show where RC has a giant gun blade? Me neither. The first edition comes with two blades similar to this They actually look a little bit better. And I think there's another version that actually comes with small guns, which is what she uses in the show. So it's like, what the hell are they thinking? There's not a whole lot to say about the robots, to be perfectly honest. They, they more or less look like they're supposed to. I'm actually going to give that one to RC for being a little bit closer to uh, what she's supposed to look like. Next, transformation. Having the accessories with these makes things a little bit interesting because a lot of the older ones I don't get any accessories with. Ratchet is really, really interesting. Because one of the main things is this panel back here, you know, when you pull it down, his head pops up. Dramatic head reveals are a big thing in the second wave deluxes. But the whole the whole backpack here is actually at an angle. I believe this is the top. This is the top of the back of the ambulance. So his head is actually coming out this way, which makes things really difficult to line up, even when you know how it's supposed to look. But it's a nice challenge, and I, I appreciate that. The only thing you have to be careful of is sometimes he will pop his head back out. Right, his legs are a little complicated, if only because these large panels here, well, A, they, they hook into a couple different spots at once, which makes them very solid once they get in, but it's also kind of hard to figure out exactly how this stuff fits together. And ever since I've gotten him, I have had problems with the front wheels not rolling, and I, I really can't figure out why. There doesn't seem to be any way to do this any differently, anything that you can adjust. So let's see if I've gotten it this time. No, this wheel doesn't roll, and I cannot figure out why. But yeah, that's a lot of fun. RC, on the other hand, interestingly, she, she technically has a third form, but it's meant to mimic the, the, uh, the uniwheel monstrosities from the movies, which is like, why would anybody want that? Because those things were awful. Oh, God. I wish that those had had a second form where they actually had legs, because that would have been far better. Okay, yeah. But she ends up like that, standing on a wheel. And it's like, why? You can't stand it up. Anyway, her head reveal gimmick, you take and rotate her hips up, and her head goes down into her chest. RC has the most sexual transformation I have ever seen because she tucks her head in, kneels down, and grabs her own ass. The first time that I realized that, I was like, what? No, that's wrong. It's very wrong. But I guess that's what it takes to, uh, to make a motorcycle out of a female robot, which, you know, because that's a real thing. I'm not sure if the back wheel is actually supposed to go up against her wasp ass or not but I have a tendency to leave it down just because that's a little bit easier. And I'm not sure where her hands go either. All right, that one goes to Ratchet because his transformation is awesome. So, vehicle modes. And this, of course, will include a discussion of the accessories. Ratchet is an ambulance. I think this is actually closer to the show, again, minus the EKG thing, than his robot mode. His swords can plug into the front of the ambulance like that because that's a real thing. This is not, by the way, the goofiest use of accessories in this line that's coming. He's got ports for them in the top, obviously, that's so he can use somebody else's weapons 
because it doesn't work like that. But uh, there's also storage underneath, which is very cool. There's a little peg right there, and you just take and put it like that, and it tucks away very nicely. And I appreciate that. RC doesn't, obviously, because she's pretty small, but a lot of the toys have, have weapon storage underneath, and I really appreciate that. RC is a very, very sexy motorcycle. I really like cycle formers, and she's no different. Now, of course, the weapons plug into the sides of the front wheel, and it's like that... That is just ridiculous. She's also got these dual pegs over here. Those are for the blades that come with the first edition RC. But I haven't been able to get my hands on those. I would really like to. I guess I'm going to give this one to RC because I like the motorcycle. Ambulance is kind of really dull, even though it has better use of the accessories. So that's that. That's my first TF Prime review off. RC wins. And join me next time for more Prime.